feel like I'm a princess in a bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. <laughs> Wait, no, no. I gotta skip that, I gotta skip that, I gotta skip that. That's that's an opening, that's an opening. It might have spoilers, it might have spoilers, I gotta skip that. Hold on, this is tough. What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, Ezeka Milling, and the Villa Funnel Trilogy, and we are playing Little Goody Two Shoes, The Secret Lies in the Woods. I've never played this. I've never heard it. What? I was recommending this game on Steam a while ago and I bought it. And now I'm finna play it. Uh, uh, I'm finna play it. Never get complacent. Your boy just playing. Your boy just, your boy just, your boy just playing. I'm playing little goody two shoes. I gotta go find my boo. Uh. I'm finna go with my dudes, uh. We finna go play some pool, uh. Playing billiards, but billiards. He a silly bard. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I like that. I like that. I don't know if I want English or Japanese voices. Are there? Is there a lot of talking in this game? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna put it on English, right? And if I if I realize if, if there if it turns out there's not a lot of talking, I'm gonna put it back to Japanese. Let's get into the game. Once upon a time, in the heart of a remote valley, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search of mushrooms. When all of a sudden she heard a loud cry in the distance. My goodness! I mean, oh my goodness! La 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 la! Baby sound! Cradled inside the rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Oh, that's so adorable. Look at her. Oh my, what do I do? Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. <laughs> and so Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of Caperberg. The cat's cradle or something, that's what that is? I, I saw that in Kanan. As both grew closer, so did their love for one another. <laughs> look, Granny, look! Well done, at least. <laughs> Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by, the old woman died. That's exactly what's about to happen, isn't it? Because they're going through their life together. So did Holly's. I knew it. That's not right. Don't do that. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. You've always said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll treasure it. I thought her hair was on fire. Granny! I love you, Elise. Oh, that's sad. Poor baby. Thank you for granting my only wish. What is all that? What is all that? What the? Okay. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. 
<laughs> For goodness sake. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, at least. Sweep my floors, at least. At least, at least, at least. Oh, I'd show them. I'd make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were rich. Broke bitch. <laughs> we, we did the same lab at the same time. All the steak I could ever want, all the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week, with shoes and jewels to match. And maids, all the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise! Oh, for goodness sake! Ugh, they're ugly. On your way home, lass? What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise. We've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance for what? Am I the, what am I being afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. Where do we say we walk you home? I believe I'll be fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Lest I come across a witch, I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. Elise, let's not be stupid, okay? Oh, I can't stand these folks. Movement, run, interact. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I do not know the story of Little Goody Two Shoes. I've never heard that story before. I know Red Riding Hood. I, I like. I know all of that, bro. I, I know all of them, but I do not know Little Goody Two Shoes. That's something that I, that's lost on me. So if there's like any puzzles related to the story, I'm gonna be lost. All right. Okay, so that's how I run. Oh, sh sh schwa. This thing's so faded, I can't even read it. Left, Prime de Morph, Kaferberg. So is this home right here? Head home. That's a beautiful view though. Is it over this way? Okay, bro, you can tell me where to go. This music is so beautiful. I love songs. I, lo I love those type of songs where it's where it's like the end of the one where they've got like a, a, a person in the background of the instruments like serenading. I love that. That's why I like um, Corpse Party soundtrack so much because when they're not doing the tech, not, not the electronic, they've got like they've got like all the instruments and the serenading. It's just beautiful. I wish I could sing. Pine tree this, pine tree that. Everything's about pine trees around here. K for bird, K for bird. Go this way. That grill looks like a dick. What's this? I got grapes. That's hot. This my home? Oh hell, oh hell. For goodness sake. Oh for goodness sake! It's impossible to keep this lantern lit with this wind. Guess I'll be fighting my way home in the dark, I suppose. Oh, it's a safe, okay. Thank you for telling me that. 
If you didn't tell me that was a safe, I would not have gone over there. Ooh, I like this. I like this. So far, this game has some of my favorite presentation in video game period. What in the Lord's name? What in the Lord's name happened here? I ought to find my matches. Who got into my house? Let's head in again to this trunk. Warn the old trunk keeps his content secure. Dang, somebody broke into my joint. Find tender boss, it's too dark to tell what happened in here. I'm so lost. O over here? No, he's going into the pantry. There's nothing to eat in this house. I'm not. What was that? Go. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? No! What was that thing? I was I dreaming or? Clock's hand gate dutifully through the time. <laughs> endings. There's 10 endings. A multi ending game is crazy. I like that. Welcome to my house and be out there somewhere. How am I to sleep like this? You don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, like, oh, uh, one. Going to Granny Holly's room. Not that there's anything to see in there. I almost got tentacle fucked. Like. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. What is this? Good grief! What if it was that witch all the town folk would be going on about? Why would a witch break into your crib and steal stuff? It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. Then grab the broom. I gotta find that burger. Find the burglar. I gotta go out. Yo, don't do footsteps while I'm... No, no, no. First of all, save. This is a save first household. This is a save first household. In this household, before we do anything at all, we save our progress. That's what we do in this household. Do what you want in your own crib, and here we save. As long as it been since I last used this thing, I wonder. Stringy cobwebs and dust cling to the old old oven's wooden doors that those still sealing them. That's an oven, okay. Hell no. What's over here? Hell no. That is such a shot. That is a shot right there. Oh, this is hard. Are, are you the burglar? What could you possibly be? Huh? There you are, you shameless thief. Out with it. Give me back all you took, huh? right? Now! Wait, please! Please forgive me! Dang! 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 Explain yourself, you wretch! What were you doing in my house? Wait, please don't hit me! I was just hiding! There were these men and I... 
I won't ask you a second time, D. Hurry it up. Yeah, kick her ass. Give me back everything you took right now. I didn't take anything. I was just scared. Please, I beg of you. Show me your hands. Oh, but I... I didn't take anything, ma'am. Huh? Now show me your pockets. Make it quick. I keep telling you, I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds. What are you doing up here in the mountains? Oh, I'm a, I'm a traveler, ma'am. Uh, Turn around. You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm traveling alone. I hope I could rest for the night in this village, but I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still. Oh, but I... Please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Oh, shush it! Would you stop calling me that? I'm sorry. <laughs> For goodness sake. Hmm. All right, well, I might let you go if you can prove your innocence, that is. Oh, I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Hmm. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... I'm sorry, I... Ma'am? I did it! Yes, that's it. A maid. All right. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming in a stranger's home. I'm sorry, I... I... Ma'am. Uh... Complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can do? Uh, yes. Of course, I'll gladly do it, ma'am. <laughs> Good. And in exchange, I suppose you can stay here. But no more thieving! <laughs> I am not a thief, ma'am. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. Anyhow... You work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? It does sound fair, ma'am, and it is very kind of you, but... I am not a thief. Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? I'm sorry. You don't, I apologize. Right. My name is Elise, and you'd best remember it. Uh, yes. I'm so sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Rosen Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. For goodness sake. Elise is just fine. Come now, we've got a lot to work yes. to do. Yes, of course. Try not to get kidnapped by the tentacle thing. No, try not to get kidnapped by the hentai monster lady. How could you even do all this? Look at my floors! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh. Even Granny's plate shattered to pieces. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. Mm. All right, well, you know what you did. Anyway. Anyhow, here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Mm. Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean up the fireplace, too. Oh, and, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. Right. Want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow, understood? Uh, of course. Of course. For goodness And I told you to quit calling me mad. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come now, let me show you. Let me show you to the well out the back. Oh, but I... I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, Lassie, I don't have no, I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once and I'll be having to work with the town folk. You hear? Are we clear? Yes, Elise. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'll, I'll do my best. <sighs> be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday mass to attend tomorrow. <sighs> I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. Better clean much. She just gave her quite the earful. Better clean the fuck up. You better clean good. Nah. This music, bro. Hold on. Uh. Now you've done it, Elise. There was hardly any. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. 
What if she's dangerous or worse even? What if she's the witch the town folk have been talking about? Oh, what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell on her too. What's done is done, I suppose. It'll, I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. I can't be late for Sunday Mass or Father Hansel. You can't be serious! Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taking everything I own by now! Whoa! She cleaned up! Oh. Or maybe not. Hmm. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! Was that her name? Uh, I can't believe she tidied up and left just like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night, the poor thing. Now, where could she have gotten to? She's probably back in the um the, the little storage place. You think? Rosen Marine! No, it wasn't Rosen, it's Rose. Rose Marine. That's a pretty name. Even if it's kind of stupid. That is not her name! For goodness sake. There you are, you! Please. <sighs> Honestly. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind, come with me now. I'm sorry, I... Are you taking me to the village? <clears throat> Who do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment, I... I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did too. I've got it, all of that's dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Oh, yes. uh, wait for me, Elise. Aw, uh, so, they're both so sweet. They're sweetie, they're sweetie. I would love to live in a place like this though. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that scared me! Block. Excuse you? Block. <laughs> what is that, a goat? Are goats that fluffy? Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. Where have you been? You know this goat? Uh, of course. We met on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were, we were. Oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? Mm. The cuddliest little thing, you say? Anyway. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, Flock. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Oh, I'm so glad. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. Mm. I, it kept me up for hours last night thinking oh, you... Shush it. I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. You really are too kind. For goodness sake. Good grief. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. Most folk would have tossed me right out the moment they found me, but you didn't. Hmm. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. All right. Don't wander about it. Don't make a mess. Uh, of course. I won't, Elise. Love interest. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a romantic date for later. Hold on. Hold on, hey, Rosemary. Uh, before you go, Elise. Hmm? 
I have something to tell you if you can meet me later today. Keeping you from telling me now. Oh, uh, well, it's important, so I'll, I'll be I'll be in the bag by nightfall, all right? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear? It's nothing bad. We'll see about that. Is this really a horror game? Is this really a horror game? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Move, nigga. What the hell is this? I'll get an ear from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. There you are, Elise Gretel. Come here, why don't you? Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back. I have some fresh buns, they'll cheer you right up. Why don't you take a look? Oh, what a cute old lady. It's always lovely seeing you, Elise. Eat this chicken. Oh, is this flock? No, it's just it's just a regular goat, okay. Break up in a crib. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Good morning to you too, Mrs. Bertha. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise. Why well, wouldn't I, Mrs. Oldie, Old Dilly? My Elise, you look quite tired. Couldn't catch a weak eyed Rager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. What was? For goodness sake, Elise. Did you not notice the state Kiefer Berg was in? Frightening windstorm last night, Elise. It swept through the alleys, nearly ripped some roofs off. Even mine was covered in dead wood. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Dilly? Oh, I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, old Dilly, there's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, Marley. We're running late for mass. Okay, you old people, shut up. Dang, the woodland. What is that? Give me that, I want that. Elise. What? Oh, good morning, Elise. That's not her voice, my bad. Pointy eye shoes. Evergreen sweetheart. How are you always so cherry, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. What can we do? Oh, me neither. And all because of that windstorm. Even my little sprig could help. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see? Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shut up! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. We best focus now, Elise. You're the one wittering on, Freya. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, may the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Walpurga take heed of our... Who the... Who is Saint... Saint Walpurga? Hold on, let me make sure I ain't saying nothing strange. I ain't never heard that before. Oh, okay, it was just a... A really, really old Christian. I don't know this motherfucker. Like, I'm not... I'm not... I'm, I'm not praying to her, though. So, hey, like, hey, W. St. Walperga, hey, appreciate you. 
Amen. Amen. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our patroness, St. Walperga. Oh, okay, I see, I understand. Not my fault. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I see now. Because they have, they're having these windstorms in St. Walperga. They basically helped people through storms or something like that. But this is like olden times, so she's probably still alive and she's here. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust St. Walperga to guide our people and keep Caper Big out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. Hey, Jesus on top. That's hard, I like that. <laughs> Took all you had to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. What a nice Christian gal. Very funny, Le Leb, Leb Kuchin. Jokes aside, Elise. Don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? <laughs> You're riling me up on purpose, Lev. Can you tell? For goodness sake. <laughs> I'd best get to work now before it gets late. Whoa. Hold on! Hold on! Don't forget to come about later, at least. I won't, I won't. Hold on, she want me to beat them shits down. Wait, suspicions level. What is a suspicions level? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, love coaching. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault then. Here you go before I forget. Thank you. Oh, you brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Mrs. Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernhardt was fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernhardt can find better things to do at his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. It's about time I head out. I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there. Send word to Primdorf, just to Gustav. Folks, Primdorf hand with the festival. Windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountains last. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune. Certainly, Father. All right, I work even on a Sunday, are you? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You'll let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav, thank you. We on that, we on that grind. Something written on here. Hallowed Wild Puga, sanctified be thy name. May thy may thy will be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quench thou shalt be on this Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life bearing grow. A prayer. There's something else at the bottom. Give a burst offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings receive. One who dropped this. Fuck no. Keep people from suspecting me of what? For goodness sake. Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. Think I have to work all day into the evening. Shut 
Shut up, you cock. You black cock. Shut up. Glad you dropped by at least. Won't you have me lend me a hand? I have my hands full tight and go back to that windstorm. I can lend you a hand with that Mrs. Ar Ariane. Fetch me some eggs from the coop. Of course. Careful with the hens. I dare say they're still riled up after last night. Out of my way, you feather rat! Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. No, that's the wrong way. Oh, you penis. Round two, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. Did we do good? 28. B, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. If I did as good in the first one as I did in the second one, we would have got A. Bitch. Woo. I don't think I got bit a, a, a single time on that second round. 34, let's go. Let's go. That's an A. That's an A. I'm the GOAT. I'm satisfied with that. Oh, I could have done with a few more, but these will do. How many eggs did you need? Heinrich's favorite, Elise. He can never have enough. Woo! She gave me some money. All right, let's meet up with the, 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 uh, the girl. Whatever her name is, I don't know. Hey, yo, move! Hey, get out my way! Get out my way! Get out my way before I start beating y'all with a broom! There she is. Rather cute, aren't you? Woo! <laughs> my, there was no need to run, Elise. Who's running? <laughs> you always like this, Lepkuchin. I can't help it. You're so easy to tease, Elise. For goodness sake. Such a nice day today. I could stay here until nightfall. In the mood for another earful from Father Hans, are you? Remember when we would sneak up here at nighttime? To look at the stars and snack on leftover pretzels? As if I forget that. Or that night that old geezer caught us. <laughs> You'll never let that one go, will you? That wretch had me on my knees praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earful. I recall praying right alongside you that night, don't you? Because you felt sorry for me, not because he told you to. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? What's there to see? You're the one who's put up with him for too long the way I see it. It's not as if we've never been at odds with each other. Oh, spare me. Over what? You think I'm short of complaints? Indulge me, why don't you? <laughs> Bald geezers like you belong in the pig pen, you oinker! Hey. That is insanity! <laughs> You'll never hear from up here, at least. Mm. Alright, but you're the one getting a lecture if he catches us. At the top of your lungs now. <laughs> you're so ugly, not even St. Walpurga can save you, you ogre! <laughs> Dare tell me my hair is too long again. I'll chop up whatever's left of yours, you old weasel. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Did he really tell you that? Lord, cur clergy woman, that is. Who cares about some made-up rules? Aren't you feeling a lot lighter after that, Elise? I can see you needed it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm no saint after all, despite my veil. 
It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often. It suits you much better than that dust cloth over your head. You're such a charmer. All it does is weigh you down. It makes you look look gloomy too. How do I look without it then? Shush it, you. You're such a killjoy. Anyhow, at least it's best we get moving along. What did you say? Those eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later. Don't forget. Of course, Lev. I'll be there. I'm just waiting for when they're gonna let me. I'm just waiting for when they're gonna let me knock the doonies down. I need to have a word with you, Elise. It has come to my attention that you went home rather late yesterday. Oh, for goodness sake. Bernhard and Ludwig are quite concerned about you. My apologies, father, but it wasn't even my own fault. Whose fault was it then, would you say? B Miss Elmas! She kept me working until nightfall, as you know. Kyberberg has no need for conflict. The town is tense enough as it is. Tense about what, the witch? You wanted me to make light of it, at least. Lest Mrs. Old Dilly spontaneously catches fire, I know. How could such a thing happen? It was a manner of speech, Father. A rather crude one, even for you, at least. Oh, for goodness sake, I don't have time for this. What did I say that was wrong? And what are they suspicious of? What are they suspicious of? They don't think I'm the witch, do they? Ooh, bitch. All right, so today I'm gonna hang out with old girl and I think it's the last work day. I'm not gonna work today. Tomorrow, I'm not hanging out with nobody. I'm just working, 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 working. Gonna get that money up. Was this opening here before, I wonder? The place is so stuffy. Like that, like that match. Looks an awful lot like that geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our beloved patroness, St. Walperga. At the last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for Sin Walpurga's sake, but for old Holly as well. Granny Holly? On her deathbed, old Holly confessed all her sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me of Elise. Of her many prayers to cure her, lon her, her loneliness. Childishness. Is that what it said? Childish. Child... Cure her of her childlessness, because uh, the old woman couldn't have children, I guess. Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. That the woodlands itself granted her wish for a child. As she put it herself, he granted her wish for a heavy price. How can this be? What did old Holly truly mean to say? If this truly did happen, and at least was conceived by Walpurga's divine intervention. Yet, if not for sin Walpurga's blessing, then who is he? Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What is going on here? I'd best hold on to this piece of paper. A tattered note. What is this? This is another prayer. Hallowed white Paul Perga, sanctified be thy name. I beg thou for a sign, a testimony to my plea. Make you accept its offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Kieferberg welcomes thy blessings, thy guidance. Mm. Someone must be leaving these around, but who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks, buried within the windmill that once was. Mm. The old windmill up in the mountains. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry! 
What is that? <laughs> what? What was that thing? I was I dreaming or? I think I'm gonna need something to clear my mind. Yeah, what can clear your mind better than a nice little save point? I don't know why I didn't save before I went in there, but thank God. Thank God I managed. This game is not kind to explorers, huh? I just want to look around and see what's what. Like, they will be about to kill me for it. Rosemarine. Rosemarine. Let's have a date. There she is. Rose there you are. Marine. There you are, Rosemarine. Elise. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. <laughs> Still ought to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find... I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Mm. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. For the waxing crescent. It's important to set my sight on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosemary? Oh. You see, Elise. I've dreamt about you before. About Kieferberg, too. Last night, or... I know this may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kieferberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? I don't know, I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. What? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... I don't understand, Rose Marie. Ready for what? You'll know in time. For What's with all this mystery? Out with it! What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Hmm. Nostalgic, you say? Oh. Your name, your voice, your home, this breeze even. All that surrounds you, so much of it feels like home oh, to me. It's not possible. Elise. It's you the stars told me about, at least I'm certain now. Never in my life have I heard such nonsense, and yet, I'm covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I can tell you don't believe a one word of what I just said. I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer, if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Alright. Just don't stay out here too long, here. I won't, I won't. Finally done with work for today. I'd best head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see Love Coochin. Love Coochin. Oh snap! So I have to like use the lamp. Like that's not a choice. Is this you? Is this her? There you are, Love Coochin. You're you're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over this witch nonsense all night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it now, too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? It's all nonsense. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Thank you. Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elise. 
she's always had a talent for talent to figure things out but this her intuition again or move along at least before it gets too late i'll see you tomorrow she's kind of scary hold on yeah let's move along before it gets too dark i don't i, I don't like this okay my heart is racing it's I'm not liking this. Shut up, frog. Let's let's get. Boom, 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 boom. Let's hurry home. You know what? Let's sprint. You know, it, yeah, let's sprint. We're sprinting. Ah, uh, Lise, welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Would you like me to start making dinner first from tomorrow, at least? That's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet brandy disapprove of anything I prepared. Is that so? Well, I suppose it can't do much harm. All right. On that note, Rosemary, you are to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging outside the granary and breaking all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, but I... oh I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. Yeah. I've had my fill of running about looking for you day and night. Uh, but... Oh, I wouldn't want to be a bother. Shut up! Shut Just up. listen! Oh, see, we 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 on the same mindset. Like, shut up and do it! And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemary? Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. Oh, no. I wanna... Bro, just let me go to bed. Stop with the horror stuff. What is that? What is that? What is that? Save. 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 I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's the issue? Mommy. It's you. What? Eek. What is that? Please spare me, Elise. Mommy. What in the Lord's name are you doing here? I, I was out on a stroll, I swear. I swear on my auntie's name. Is that so? Ah, and you just so happen to be outside of my house. I see. Who, who doesn't? You, you sneak about folks home every now and then too, don't you? <laughs> what are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now, I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. I, is it just like her ha Is it like her hobby to, like, say people's names wrong? It's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... Out with it! I saw her. That girl you're housing, Elise. Uh -huh. You saw nothing, Molly. She's not from around here. Even I can tell. Uh -huh. You were having supper together and everything. Uh -huh. You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I'll... Uh -huh. Why don't you share some of that bread you've got? I might keep quiet if you do. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. Then get some freaking bread and shut up. I hear as much of a word about this, Molly. Boy, oh boy. Golly, Elise, why don't you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? Out with it! Mouth shut or I'll throw you in the well. <laughs> you aggravate me, woman. Get out of here! Before I beat you with a broom. <gasps> we got demons patrolling that night trying to kidnap me and hentai tentacle monsters trying to do things to me. And you over here le lurking about my house asking for bread like a beggar. Don't come back. I'm sick of you. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry. I... Is she gone? Mm. Uh, this could be bad, Rosemary. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, Elise, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? Uh. If she does, we could be uh. in trouble, I know. I'm Rose and Rosemary. It's Rose and Marine. Shush it, you. Oh, shush, Rosemary. I'm going back inside. Yes. So she is mispronouncing. 
I didn't know if it was a translation error or if they just made a mistake. But no, she's literally just mispronouncing. Fulfill her daily request for food and keep her from snitching. Yo, I'm a, I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her. She can get hands. Why, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Bear what consequences? What's gonna happen if I look suspicious? Are they just gonna murder me? Elise, I'm heading off to bed, Rosemarine. I can spend the night at the granary if you'd like. No, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Uh, all right. That monster's not gonna get me again, is it? Granny Holly used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly understood why exactly. Don't do it, don't do it. So much for Walpurgis protection. I'd have thrown you out long ago, lassie. Palms joined in prayer. The wooden statue of Saint Walpurgis grants protection to the faithful. Yeah, you over here praying to a saint and not Jesus himself. That's the issue. A saint ain't gonna give you protection. Jesus will. Mm. You left that girl in the granary, I'm hoping. Of course. <laughs> I left the door ajar so we can go out and about if you want. It makes you think you'll stay put. Why, the bed I made him, of course. You want to see it, Elise? <laughs> I'm not going out of my way to see a ghost hay bed, Rosemarine. Up you go. You need to make your bed, too. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Why not? For goodness sake. You're not a goat, Mose Rosemarine. <laughs> I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? For goodness sake. I don't see what's so funny. You truly are kind, Elise. I see. I can see that clearly now. Shush it, you. Oh, shush. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches, too, and a candle. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemary. Good night, Elise. This art is beautiful, by the way. For goodness sake. What am I getting myself into? First, I agreed to house Rosemary. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I best make sense of this all, of this all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town, go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace somewhere where I can live the life I deserve. I live the life I deserve. Bless. Uh-uh, uh-uh, what is this, what is this? Oh, nah. Is this a silly night? Is this silly hour? Is this silly hour? Where am I? Is this a dream? Hello? Nah, find somewhere to hide. Find somewhere to hide. Rebirth. That's what I wished for long, long ago. You wanted to be reborn? Somewhere safe, somewhere far, far away. I went through all their trials, gathered all of his gifts. And? Indeed, I was reborn. My wish was granted yet. To think I would end up like this. Wait, what was that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 
feel like I'm a princess in a bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. Ah! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! Stop that right now! Stop that right now! Right now! You better stop! Okay, so the silver key goes to here. Stop turning around! Let's see. Goodness, so many dresses. Another key, I wonder what it's for. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm in a pallet. You just got beat up by a mirror. You need to be trying to figure out how to get out. Stop shocking and awing. Hell no. Nameplate reads whatever that means. Yeah, I'm not about to be touching stuff. Ah! Ah! Go! 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 Just go! Just go! Save! Actually save! Actually save! 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 I'm scared! No! 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 Hold on. Alright, get out. Exit! Exit! Don't turn around! Exit! I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, uh, I don't... Hold on. Exit! Exit! Here we go, okay. Uh-uh. What, what in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? Feeling lost. Turn on your lantern to keep an eye out. What is this? Why is it moving? What do you do? Are you attacking me? Stop! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm on fire! Four keyholes? Yo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No! No, no. Ah! No! Get away! Okay, we got one key. Oh, stop that. It's a key. It's gonna get me out of here, I'm certain. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we're at one, we're, 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 we're down one health bar. Wilted. Don't touch the flowers. If I learn anything from you, Sal, don't touch, don't touch flowers. Oh, oh, lantern, lantern. Oh, I gotta weave like through and between them. Stop, go away. All right, right here. All right, great. Different languages, can't make sense of the titles. All right, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, I didn't even notice you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Light that fire, light that fire. Okay. Let's grab this. Bandages. It's not what I need right now. All right, give me this. That's what I need right now. Okay, I gotta find chests. Uh-uh, stop that, stop that. Mr. Candle, Mr. Candle. Thank you. That's me. Give me this. It's jammed, I could pry it open. Force it. What's this? The key to one's dreams is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold bathed glory. That is not a key. Come on, give it to me. It's jammed, I don't care. Force it open. We need the key. 
Run, 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 run. She's out running. She's out running. Try to outrun it. Try to outrun it. Try to outrun it. It doesn't matter. Try to outrun it. Try to outrun it. Does it I don't care. Use the lantern. Not knowledge, but gold blade gold bathed glory. Oh! Is the last key with the is the last key with the books maybe? Like is that their way of telling me to read a book? No, I'll run it, 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 I'll run it. Oh, golden books! Don't rush. Take your time. Here we go. Four keyholes. That means four keys. Oh, well. This is it. It worked. Whew. What is this? Where am I? I must be dreaming. What type of dream is this? A nightmare. This is a nightmare. Don't follow that thing. You don't know what it is. There's something following us. I what is that? What is that? Hurry now, hurry now. We're late for his banquet. What are you? Hurry, hurry. Um, no, 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 no. Turn around, turn around, turn around. No. I can go home now. Thank you. I'm scared. Oh no. A dream? Uh, oh, that left me feeling a little queasy. Rose and Marine? Are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. Mm. No point in waking her up this early, I suppose. Oh, snap. The candle isn't lit anymore. Is that... Is that bad? Oh, why is it different? Did it always look like this? No, it didn't. Elise. Good morning, Elise. I would have got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. For goodness sake. Since when have you been up? <laughs> oh, I'm always up before daybreak. I can't sleep in if I try. Hmm. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back to shut it back up. Easy. 
You're smarter than your look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is that so? Anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. You mean the field outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? Been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed. Now that I have- now that- now I have you to fret about it too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? What, you'd rather starve? Join me as my maid of all work, perhaps? You truly are kind, aren't you? I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment then. Uh, no. 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 Why did you run away? I want to save. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. Tap into the next one. What the freak is this? Man, I, I went into it expecting, like, expecting a horror game. And then, like, after a while, I was like, maybe it's not a horror game. Like, because it was all chill. And, and then they sent us the freaking Alice in Wonderland fantasy world, E paint world, and had me... <laughs> that was scary. I'm going to be real. That was probably... That was probably, the, like, the, one of the scariest moments in... A, a, like RPG horror I've ever pl I've ever played, besides from maybe like um, never mind. But that's probably one of the scariest moments in RPG horror I've ever had. So, bro, y'all go see more of this game. I I'ma play more of this game. I'm excited to I'm excited to see what's coming up with this, bro. But peace out. I love y'all. Tap into the next one.